All right, San Diego State, they know their opponent in the NCAA tournament, a Friday matchup against UAB. That is Alabama-Birmingham. They play in the AAC, not the ACC, but the AAC. I didn't know if San Diego State, because of some of their struggles this year, the fact that they're not a top four seed, and usually top, I think top four seeds, that means that you're protected regionally, or at least like you get a preferable, more preferable destination for those opening round games. Uh, but they get to go to Spokane, Washington. That's not too far away. That's pretty good. That's not Orlando. But as I said, I think the other day, I mean, when they went to Orlando, guess what? That was the start of their Final Four National Championship game run. So, I mean, they could get bounced. I remember a bunch of five seeds. It feels like if you have to pick one seed that gets bounced and that's the upset seed of like the top seeds, sure, there's the, you know, eight, nine game. But of the, the top seeds, the five seed definitely sticks out as, yeah, that's, that's an upset seed right there. One seed, you see it every once in a while, but not very often. There's two seeds, there's, you know, there's four seeds, but three seeds, but five, really, it feels like there's multiple upsets there every year. So San Diego State, I mean, they are not a team that I'm sitting here like, yeah, well, that's going to be an easy win against UAB. I sure hope so. I'm not going to act like I know a ton about UAB. I looked over their schedule. They have uh, a couple of wins against Memphis, or one win against Memphis, a win against FAU, obviously, who San Diego State played in the Final Four last year. But FAU, uh, they are ranked, I believe, just barely in the top 25, or at least that's what they were when UAB played them. They also lost to Memphis and FAU. Um, they just had to beat Temple in their conference championship game where San Diego State had to go through UNLV they had to go through Utah State and they had to go through New Mexico they didn't get they didn't go through New Mexico uh, but they've had some tough games they obviously played in a tougher conference six Mountain West teams I know that some of these teams are going to be playing games so that's not the ideal thing for the Mountain West I think that that could be a little bit of a sign of disrespect that how good this conference was the NCAA tournament, whoever, the, the committee, they determined that these teams should be in the play-in games. I don't really agree with that. Uh, maybe one team, but to have multiple teams in the play-in, not so sure about that. This was a really good conference this year. Um, but, you know, it's still six teams, and that's a good sign for the Mountain West for sure. I believe it's the most teams that they've had in the Mountain West tournament, or excuse me, most Mountain West teams that they've had in the NCAA tournament. Um, and you know, we know San Diego State, they they have some pretty good wins on neutral courts this year. They have a signature win at Gonzaga where Darion Trammell showed up big. That's going to be nice if he can show up. It's going to be huge for, obviously, Jaden Ledee to continue to show up like he has almost all season long. Micah Parrish, Reese Waters, one of them, are they going to shoot well? Um, so that's what I'm looking for. UAB, I'm not going to act like I know any of their players. I don't. Uh, I just know that they had a decent record, but it's not a record that really stands out that much to me when they play in the AAC. So it's a 12 seed. San Diego State should win this game. If they don't win this game, that this season will look like a failure. Um, they already did not win the Mountain West regular season. They didn't win the Mountain West Conference Tournament. Um, yes, they had a strong regular season. I'm not going to say like the regular season is definitely a failure because it was a tough Mountain West Conference, but I'm talking about... Look, it's March. March Madness, the standard is so high. They just went to the national championship game. They have a lot of talent on this team. Um, you're playing UAB. Like, you got to win this game. And if they win this game, they're probably going to play Auburn. That would be a tough matchup. But, again, they, they went on the road and beat Gonzaga this year. They have some other good wins this year. I think that they could beat Auburn um, if things go their way, if they play well. Um, and so, yeah, we'll see. Friday, I think it's 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 a preferable couple of games as well. They don't have to play on a Thursday. It's an extra day, Friday, and then they play Sunday. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be an interesting weekend there, or end to the week and then into the weekend, hopefully. Um, I'm not saying assuming. I'm just saying hope it, hopefully that San Diego State gets that win against UAB. Give your thoughts in the comments on the matchup. 
Um, how confident are you in San Diego State uh, being able to get this first round win? Do you think that they'd be able to beat Auburn? Um, just what do you think about their chances in this NCAA tournament? I think it was a, I, I think it's a better draw than what they had last year, at least the, the location. Um, you don't have to go through our number one seed like you did last year with Alabama, or at least early. Um, that would have to wait. So I like it.